Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. We are finally back in Tampa. Tampa is very interesting right now. The ships are coming in and literally staying there for quite a while, kind of like what Miami's doing. Um, but like I said, you don't really know when the ships leave, so it's hard to kind of pinpoint when they're going to go out. But the good thing is if they do sail, they sail at four o'clock because of they have to time the bridge with the tides uh, to fit under. So we're going to start right off the bat here on this highway, actually driving by a cargo pier where Norwegian has been docking uh, the Norwegian Dawn for since this all started. She goes out occasionally, uh, but she's been there for about two weeks now. So she pretty much just hangs out there. Um, since she doesn't have to move out of the way for another cruise ship, she kind of just uh, sits there because there's no need for, uh, there's no high demand for that uh, pier that she's at. Most of the ships are docked at the main port area. So we're going to drive back real quick and get another look. And I think we come back uh, later in the video to get another look. So that should be cool. Uh, we're going to head over to the main port area and see what's going on with the ships there. This is a longer than normal video. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I want this was the first day I came back uh, from being home for about two weeks. So I was kind of excited to get out and see the ship stock there. Uh, cause I, uh, the carnival never docks at terminal six. So it's pretty cool to see. We saw the paradise there in the last Tampa video. I'll go ahead and link that at the end of this video. Um, and then, so the paradise was at six and the legend was at three and obviously they've switched. And then you got Rafsi at the seas at the very end there. She's docked at terminal two. Um, and like I said, these aren't their normal terminals. Uh, they'll switch around uh, with just whichever terminal is open. So this is down by the American Victory, looking at the uh, Rap City of the Seas, and then we turn around and uh, drive by the Carnival Paradise. And there are some time lapses in these videos. I don't know. There, I don't think there's any in this one, but there will be in the next few. Some are of just the ships sitting there, and some. I did get a couple sailaways so, um, and sailing ins arrival, so that should be pretty cool for you guys. It should change up the scenery a little bit. But what the ships are doing in Tampa is they're setting sail and they're going about 10 to 15 miles off the coast. Um, when you're driving over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, which is uh, a, a huge bridge that connects um, the, the Tampa Bay area. It's kind of down near St. Pete, and I don't really go down there that often because it's kind of far, but I'm going to try and go over there just because the ships aren't sailing that often now, so it'd be pretty cool to get that going under the bridge. Um, so what they're doing is they're going under the bridge, and then they're sailing, like I said, about 10 to 15 miles off the coast, and then sitting there. So it's a little different than what's going on in Miami, because some of the ships are literally sitting a mile or two off the coast. So you can't really see the ships from the coast here in Tampa, but if you go up on the Skyway Bridge, and you can only drive, so you don't think about like walking or anything, um, as you're driving over, if you look very carefully off the coast, um, you can actually see the ships sitting there. It's more of like their silhouette, but you can actually see them sitting off. So I was able to see some of the celebrity ship stock there when I was coming home because there was some traffic on I-75, so it took my, the GPS took me up um, to the Skyway Bridge. So, the, uh, the ships in Tampa don't come and go as often as they do in Miami because there's not as many ships trying to dock in Tampa because there's a height limit with the bridge. So, uh, the ships that you see in port right now are pretty much the max size uh, that you can get. So, not too many ships are, require, are asking to dock in Tampa. That's why they can stay a little longer than normal. But what is interesting is... Celebrity actually brought the Celebrity Infinity, the Celebrity Summit, and the Celebrity Silhouette uh, to sit off the coast of Tampa. And I thought it was because they were going to bring at least the Infinity and the Summit into port to get refueled and restocked with supplies. But they never ended up doing that. They're actually going back to Miami to refuel, and then they come back up here, which I think is very odd. I don't know why they don't come in. And I know the ships can fit because the Constellation is sailing from Tampa at the end of this year if the cruise industry gets it, gets back up on its feet. She is scheduled to sail. So we know they fit under the bridge, but I'm not too sure why uh, they're not coming into Tampa. So if any of you know that, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below because I'd be very interested to know uh, why they don't come. So that's why um, a lot of the videos are going to be the same here in Tampa. The ships don't move around that often because, like I said, there's not too much demand for ships to dock in Tampa right now. Uh, so they pretty much just have Rhapsody Brilliance, 
Norwegian Dawn, Carnival Paradise, Carnival Legend, um, and the Oceania, or Osh, however you pronounce it, the uh, Insignia is here at the moment. Not at the time of recording this video, but at the time of recording this audio. Uh, so that's the only ship that's come in that doesn't normally sail from here, so it was pretty cool to catch her. Um, but that's about it from Tampa, not much has changed. Uh, so I'll go ahead and let you enjoy the rest of this video. There are some nice shots, so I think you guys will like that. Um, and then I will see you on the next video, guys. So I hope you enjoy. The next few are going to be from Tampa. I'm going to try and go to Fort Lauderdale, or, um, excuse me, Port Canaveral before I go home. And then we'll see what happens after that. So enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to let you listen to the music and watch the clips. And I'll see you out on the next video.